All right, this video is what I think about England. Um, England was the first country that I traveled to other than uh, Mexico. Uh, um, I did that. I actually arrived in England three days after Princess Diana died, uh, and I was there just like a week. I rode my bike across it. Experienced London and up to the north. Um, England is... Some countries have, like, spiritual energy for me. You can feel the spiritual energy. And England's one of those countries where I could really feel, like, spiritual energy, like, good spiritual energy, like a, like a magical place. Um, like, maybe, what are some other countries like that? Like, Australia was like that. Um, Nepal was like that. Um, but, you know, I mean, you get, you get that from countries that are new, that you're new to. So, you know, maybe it was just because I, it was the first place I went to. But, um, it's like really green, really green country, I guess, because it rains a lot. But I didn't rain once the whole time I was there. Um, really, like, it's like one big city compared to what I'm used to. Um, well, I guess it's kind of like how the front range is now. But the whole country is kind of like, you know, one city to the next city. You're never really out of a city, out of a town. The one hamlet is like five miles after the last one. Until you get up north and then you have a little bit more um, space. But... As far as the English people, what do I think about English people? Um, um, English people, and I knew this before I went there, but they have lots of different accents, and it's kind of like I didn't. I only knew that because I was an English major and I studied English, and I knew there was Cockney and there was like Queens English, but there's like lots of different English accents, which is interesting, so even in, even amongst the one town of London, which is really intriguing for an American to know, because. You can barely tell the difference between America and the whole country of America. There's like, you know, a couple of accents, like three or four or five accents, you know, and a lot of those are hard to distinguish. So anyways, um, that was kind of interesting, but I didn't, I didn't talk to anybody really because I was just riding my bike, but um, I did go to a bar and some guy goes at the bar like, what do you think about England? Like, we, we kind of look of ourselves as kind of like the burnt out light, like we used to own half the world. And I've met actually lots of English people traveling. They're big travelers, like the biggest travelers ever. Like half the people you, you meet traveling around the world in whatever given country are from London. Um, and they kind of have that idea, kind of like, oh, we used to own half the world, you know. I'm like, no, what are we now, you know. Um... But um, but then they they're always like yeah but we we speak English you don't have to learn any other language and stuff but um, they they they're nice um, as far as like what what their impressions of Americans are I'll include that in every single country I critique uh, English people like Americans in my experience um, although I have met some English people who travel who didn't like me who didn't don't seem to like Americans. But uh, there seems to be, like, kind of two kinds of, Amer of English. There's, like, the cool English, who's, like, hip to the groove and fun to hang out with. And then you definitely have, like, sheltered English. I guess maybe how you would imagine, like, an American, like, just square English, who are boring and um, would probably tend to not like me because just because I'm American. Um, and, uh, yeah, kind of grumpy. Um, I did talk to some, like, Polish girl bartender who's like, ah, I don't like England. What are you doing in England? The people here are grumpy. It's all dismal. Um, so maybe if you live there, you're going to pick up on some of that. Um, and maybe it's brought on by the weather because it rains so much and it's really cold up north. But I found that they're really nice people. And they're really, like, friendly people like, polite, friendly people, like, um, you know, not, like, bouncing off the walls like they are in, like, Brazil or Morocco or Indonesia, like, you know, or, well, anywhere in Latin America. You can, like, talk to them, and they'll listen to you, and they'll let you finish talking before they start talking, and then, like, you can actually have, like, a real you know, conversation with them. grounded people. Um... London was weird because I got lost in London. I, like, rode my bike in a circle in London. I was trying to go north, and I passed some roundabout, and then next thing I know, 20 minutes later, I passed the same roundabout. <laughs> but um, 
yeah, there's roundabouts all over the place in England. Then there's lots of thorns. This isn't just England, but Europe in general. Is there's freaking thorns everywhere. Like if you want to like go off the side of the road to camp, um, or to even pee, you have to like, you know, do yoga, ninja, freaking kung fu flexibility to get yourself through the thorns and they like start right on the side of the road so like if you want to sleep you got to be like you got to like crawl on your hands and knees you know under the thorns and there's like no thorns at all where i'm from like no thorns at all it's awesome and i was i was getting a lot of flats too because of that um but uh so that's a bummer for them but and but like bike touring there is awesome because there's lots of like small frontage roads and like that I could take, you know, like, I guess you're not even allowed on the highway, but the roads are really, like, narrow and, uh, and, uh, you know, not too much traffic and, uh, pretty, you know, countryside. It's a cool place. Um, there's definitely a bar scene, like a pub scene there that I found really interesting. Like, you go into a pub and it seems like everybody knows each other. And it seems like everybody goes in there, like, every night because people are just, like, really mellow and they know each other and they're not, like, all, like, in party mode. They're, they're kind of, like, in, like, people hanging out in the, in the living room mode. It's kind of like somebody's house. Like, cozy. It's, like, like in America, if you go to a bar, it's, like, loud and people are talking and it's crowded. And, you know, all the people there, you know, they're not there every single night. But in, like, England, there's so many pubs. They're everywhere that... The pubs aren't crowded. There's just a few people in there who know each other, you know. And I actually felt out of place in a few of them. Like, they were all staring at me like, who's this guy in our pub type of a thing. Um, but, you know, they didn't. nobody said, nobody ever tried to talk to me or anything, but nobody was, like, rude to me or anything like that. It was kind of the same thing in France, too. Only difference is France, if somebody walks in, they shake everybody's hand, including yours. <laughs> and then they kiss each other. Like, the father, I saw father kiss his son, like, I think even on the lips. But, um, it's basically my impression of England. Um, I was, I did feel like sadness in the air. I don't know if it was just me, like, being away from home for the first time, or maybe I was generally picking that up because I was there the whole week that they were mourning Princess Diana. I actually saw Princess Diana's casket. I pulled on the side of the road, and I'm like, what's everybody dressed in black for? And they're like, Princess of Wales. And I was like, really? And I waited there like a half hour, and next thing I know, like the hearse drives right in front of me, and I throw a flower on top of it. I was like in Northampton upon Wales or whatever, where she's from. But um, um, that's basically what I think about England. I went up into Scotland for an afternoon, and writing and the Scottish people are weird because they like look at you they're like old and they look at you and they go and I was like are they like think telling me I'm crazy for being a biker or is that how they say hello do they shake their heads to say hello I don't know it's just kind of weird but that's what I think about England um England people traveling though I always get along with them great they're really fun loving and like high energy and you know, fun to hang out with, talkative. They remind me of Israelis. It's like fun to hang out with. Um, and they'll hang out with like each other, but they'll hang out with anybody else too. It's kind of like how Israelis are. Um, I know they don't say that about Israelis, but that my experiences of Israelis are easy to hang out with. Maybe because I'm American and they like Americans. But anyways, that's what I think about England.